Welcome back everyone to Chemical React. It's a me fusion form. And over there, like always, is my co-host Gorilla Fist. How's it going? And today we're watching Tony Kawa episode three. Lovely, you know, lovely little romance, slice of life. I'm about to say back to the romance anime. I mean, like always. You yeah, know. it just feels this one feels good. But <laughs> Gorilla. Feels, yeah. Do you think that Sukasa is the only sane one in this series. I don't know. I mean, yes. <laughs> At the same time, I can relate to her because you, you know me. I'm just like this is my boo the whole time. Just like, yeah, yeah. And I, I relate to her more on a level of like that attitude, you know. Right. Because she she seems to be pretty level headed and you know goes with the flow. Sort kind of. of thing. Sort of. But well, then again, we all level headed. No, well, she gets flustered on some matters. Well, it's not that. I'm just, uh, the two, I mean, I agree that she's level-headed, but at the same time, like, she just, like, if you, if you want to be with me, you got to promise to marry me type of thing. And I don't know if that's a level-headed thing to do. <laughs> like, that's just me. I mean, if she's trying to get away from something, then it's a very clever and tactful way to get out yeah, of the situation. Yeah, 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 it didn't work. Don't, come on. Yeah. That never gets rid of people. I didn't say it gets rid of people, but it might help. <laughs> but it get you away. What? No, no. Mind. <laughs> <laughs> what if some girl was like, marry me? Hey, oh man, it had to be under some pretty. Uh, the Can circumstances I... like have to be arising there. You know, it has to be this truck, and I have to be you know hit, and then you know dying on the ground. <laughs> dying on the ground. I don't know. My response would be like, Can I get to know you a bit? Buy some coffee, food, maybe. Sweet, simple, to the point. Yeah. But before we go to the next episode, if you enjoy reacting to this episode, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Also, come join our Discord, Twitter, and Patreon if you want to get access to our raw reaction footage to this episode or the whole series and any other series. And without further ado, Fusion, I got my fingers up. And three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh, she's going to cook for him. Or make make breakfast. That's cooking for him. And he's excited. <laughs> Wouldn't you be? I'd be more excited for the food. Well, they haven't had a wedding yet, have they? Well, technically they did. No, they just they just signed the papers. No need for a wedding. I mean, the opening th makes it seem like they're gonna have a wedding. <laughs> I figured it all out when I started living by myself. Well, dang. Oh, okay, well, I've never gone that far. Dietary plan. I mean, that's impressive. I have... Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. I take everything back. It's like the equivalent of me eating, like, cup noodles every day. No, because this is actually healthy. But yeah, ramen noodles and ramen in Japan is a delicacy. What I heard through the internet. <laughs> look at that smug look of her. <laughs> is that the same voice actress for Zero Two? It sounds like it, right? Well, now that you have me thinking about it. Well, no, she said darling, and then I thought of Zero Two, because it sounds exactly like her. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. But sounds it, similar to me. But it might, I don't know. Can we talk about like how neat and organized this guy is? It's true, he really is. Hey, it's that's um, that's the guy from Street Fighter 2. Or Street Fighter, yeah, Street Fighter 2. <laughs> um, the USA guy? Yeah, he's the one with the best theme song. That I, I, I'm not gonna sing it. Yeah, it. yeah, I know. I know what it I guess I'm more like the wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
And now she, her heart is broken. She's been defeated. <laughs> I was honestly expecting her to ask um, her, uh, is that true? And she would be like, yeah. <laughs> So you were saying, Peter? Yeah. No, I wanted her to ask the other girl. Honestly, I just would have gone in the bath. I was like, here, just take my money. I don't want to deal with this. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> She's 16? Wait. <laughs> Yo, Loli Khan. Do we know that? Well, I think in the paperwork, I said she was 17. <laughs> Wait, why does she care so much? I have no idea. Like, this is like none of her business. I mean, he I definitely think he's doing it wrong, so... Oh yeah, he's doing it wrong, but there's just, just no point for her to be upset. Unless she's like, low-key jealous, you know? <laughs> Her blushing throws everything off. Because she doesn't do it all the time. Doesn't mean I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Even she's taken back from it. Of course, he's hanging out with an old man. Like always, right? There's always gotta be an old geezer in there. Yeah. How much you wanna bet he's gonna give him advice about something? Mm. Who are those? Well, they're fishes. <laughs> I'm more concerned about those fishes and those animals than the chicks. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, look at that ox drinking that beer. I didn't even pay attention to the subtitles. I'm so focused on all the animals that were in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he has a really bad habit of de narrating himself. Oh, it's the oh. subtitles. Explained it. Oh, it's the. Oh no. She clearly has a thing for the guy. This, this is clearly what's gonna happen. <laughs> Although I don't know whether intentional or not, their uh, the hairs are the opposite colors. <laughs> oh my god. She doesn't stop. Yeah. The more I watch this show, right, the more I realize the wife is like the only one that's quote unquote ordinary. <laughs> you notice that? Yeah. You got the uh, the girl outside, then you have the older sister, then you have the husband who always narrates himself. Um. God, she's a little much. You you think? But the, <laughs> they're both oh, being man. distracted by different people right now. <laughs> it's been passed down by generation. <laughs> I, yeah, I highly doubt that. What are you going on about? She's just like the guy. The skin what? of an iPhone X. What? <laughs> oh, she's going to uh, put it together. No, she's going to probably tell her. Okay, maybe she's not that smart. Oh, 
Wait, his uncle le ran away with an idol? What? Bro, he's on top of this. What? <laughs> he does taxes too? Come on, man. Can we hire him? Yeah, sure. <laughs> cool. Then why didn't he say that to the 15 year old? Like, dude, I do your taxes. Let me in for free. <laughs> That's what I would have done. Uh, I bet you would have. Oh, yeah, man. Free everything. Give it to me. I literally thought they were already at the house. <laughs> <coughs> And of course she's, she's jealous. She's jealous. Oh. <laughs> of course. Uh oh. Uh, this he's so just oblivious. <laughs> Hell no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my god, they're both idiots! <laughs> oh oh man, no. no! It is not gonna end well. <sighs> how, pissed, how pissed off do you think she's gonna be? I think she understands that he isn't on. I think she understands they're not talking about the same thing. Uh oh, shady black car. You know what this means? Omnia, ominous. I don't know words. Om Omnia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just another. Jesus. Sister. Evil sister. Of course. Of course, it's always the evil sister. Well, that episode was just a barrel of fun times. Every episode of this is just a barrel of fun times. Mm -hmm. I think the gags are pretty on point in this show. How do you feel about the sisters? You hate them? You like them? You think they're weird? I think they're both like a common trope element. Mm -hmm. I see the first one yeah. pretty commonly. And I'm kind of sick of the, her type. But the second one, Aya, you don't see her trope too often, but I still hate her type. <laughs> All right, so I'm glad we're kind of on the same page because I saw her, <laughs> it's like, oh, it's, it's this calming trope. And then, but in the weird way, when we got to see the other girl, right? The, mm -hmm. the older sister, I'm like, you know what? I'd rather go back to the, the younger sister that was teasing our main protagonist. <laughs> Probably because uh, Aya is... Uh... A little too much. I is like not like NASA in terms of Yeah, I like I can only deal with one guy. Yeah, one. I don't need <laughs> two. Yeah, and um But I just So hopefully maybe in the later episodes they'll be better. I don't know. I just I'm fifty fifty with these sisters. Uh, I hope we they just don't come back into the story personally. That's even better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they That's... were introduced. We got a little bit of them. There's going to probably be like one more episode where the uh, Aya finds out that they're actually married and that that'll be the end of it. And then we'll all be happy. I was thinking, well, I wasn't thinking about that, but I was thinking maybe that our main protagonist is going to go, Nasa is going to go back to the younger sister and ask her about like wedding advice. But at the same time, as we progress through the episode, we also understand Nasa is like, Really on top of thing, he does taxes. He does, he knows everything about mattresses. <laughs> Looks up nutrition. He nutrition, kinda. I don't know. But he's really he's optimized. There we go. Whether it's for the better, the hot pots, you know, kind of up in the air. <laughs> but um. Uh, but I think that wraps it up, right, Fusion? Yeah, that I think that pretty much sums everything up. Good episode. It's cute. I love it. I love the show. Yeah, what he said. But like always, guys, we will see you in the next episode.